Okay, so I'm gonna do a video on Warzone 2 with the RTX 3080. Of course, setting up with the 1080p on the lowest settings. Let's go ahead and sit in this corner real quick and jump into the settings. Okay, we're gonna be playing the game at 1080p and with the lowest preset. There we go. This game is gonna be very CPU intensive, I would imagine. Farming assist, we'll take that. GPU sitting at 60% and we're getting 120 FPS right now. This is pretty awful to be honest. Far worse than Warzone 1. We're getting better frames in the Gulag at least, 200, 200 FPS. Was that a smoke? Okay. Hold this real quick and then like that. Look at that, armor's destroyed. That's one done. Teammate, teammate to your left, buddy. Hey, where are you going? Just like that. Alright, let's jump back in. Where that teammate's at. Do I want to land up there again? I don't know, I think I might want to hang out somewhere else so I can get some better idea of the FPS. That area seems way too intensive for us. Okay. Someone's already been here, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Okay, relax. This guy's telling me the same thing four times in a row. Chill. Okay, FPS is doing quite good. Let's go ahead and set up here and look over the map. Getting 140 FPS. Quite pathetic, to be honest. Uh, I was expecting a little bit more at the lowest settings of 1080p. Uh, GPU sitting at 76% usage, almost 80%. Uh, this game is very CPU intensive. We do have some headroom to go ahead and push it up to 440p and still be able to hold 150 FPS since we have a 20% or 30% headroom on the GPU. But if you're going to be playing the game with the CPU, you're going to be getting around 140 to 150 FPS. And then you get some dips into 120, 130. Not bad. The game is looking quite decent as well. The visibility is kind of poor though in the, in the distance, but um, we're playing on 1080p, so I guess we can't really expect too much. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and push it up to 440p now. Alright, I'm sitting at 440p now. GP is fully maxed out. Oh, sometimes we get some dips down into the 80% usage. Okay, I'm gonna go to the shop. Where is that at? We got. Okay, we can go over here. Loot over here. But yeah, FPS is sitting at 130 to 140. Like I said, we should be able to hold similar performance to what we had at 1080p since we're getting super bottom left. Is everyone dead? Oh, everyone just left. Okay, I don't blame them. But again, it's running quite smooth. I'm pretty sure it reset my aim sensitivity again from normal MW. Ah, oh, like we can get by a loadout. This is so weird. Custom loadouts. Okay, give me this. There we go. Cool. But you just spent 5,000 for your gun. It's kind of different. There we go. That's a bit better. Getting 125 FPS. From getting 140 to 150. Not it's not the best, but what can we do really? NVIDIA DLSS, gonna be using the quality preset. And there's definitely a downgrade in the quality of the game. Oh yeah, this is so blurry at distance now. This is super blurry. Doesn't look good at all. This looks really bad, surprisingly. But FPS is doing much better, sitting at 140 to 150 FPS. GPU is fully maxed out. And not getting any stuttering or any lagging like before. But the quality in the distance is pretty poor, just very blurry pretty much. I'm gonna go ahead and maybe try out FSR. Even though FSR shouldn't be too much better. Well, FSR is actually better. FSR 1.0 is better than DLSS in this game. Way more clear. We're getting some jagged edges, of course, near the trees and the leaves, but overall, 
definitely looking far, far better in terms of clarity. And FPS is sitting at 150 to 160 now as well. We're getting some bottlenecks happening as well. GPU sitting at 90% usage instead of 95%. Which will be down to the 80% usage as well sometimes. But FPS is doing far better, I guess. Sitting at 170 here. I would be pretty happy with 170 FPS to be honest. But in that main city area, we're getting what, 120, 130 FPS at 1080p low. Seems to be the most intensive area so far that I've seen. This area, I guess, is not as intensive since it's just out in the middle of nowhere with a couple of buildings. But this is a good time to go ahead and try out 4K. Kind of disabled FSR and apply. And here we go. Playing at 4K, the camera looks pretty bad since we're playing on the lowest settings. But FPS is doing okay, I guess. Sitting at 100 FPS. GPU is obviously fully maxed out. I'm not trying to get inside of a. I'm not trying to run inside the city again because this area seems to be more intensive. So I'm gonna run this way. I like the haze in the sky. Definitely a bigger map it seems like as well. Gas is inbound. Marking new safe zone. Hmm. Okay, now jumping down into the 80s. So again, that area is definitely more intensive. The frame rate graph isn't the smoothest right now. It's Definitely jumpy, but when I'm playing normally, I can't really feel any stuttering or any, or any, um, I guess, lag spikes. Maybe occasionally, actually. Maybe occasionally I do feel a little bit of a micro stutter, but overall, it's still quite decent. Very, I'm sitting at 6 gigabytes as well, so we still have 4 gigs left over for this card. I do have the 10 gig variant of the 3080. Stuttering got a bit worse when I got up the stairs here. You've got a load up this guy's seriously still spectating me. This guy's a. Very patient. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and enable DLSS and see the quality difference at 4K instead of 440p. I'm gonna be using the quality preset Enemy still. And this is definitely better. This looks very good at 4K. At 440p it was definitely very blurry. But 4K definitely does look quite good. But you definitely do see some blurriness still in the far, far distance. If we still fully maxed out, obviously, FPS is at 103, so we gain 10 to 20 FPS. We're running the game at native 4K. So I'm going to go ahead and increase the intensity of the DLSS to balanced. And now we're sitting at 115 FPS. So we gain an additional 10 to 15 FPS on top of the quality preset. And the game does look quite good still. Uh oh, they found me. I've got to go. There's no, there's no more comparisons. Alright, let me see if I can actually fight this guy. I need scan. I'm dead. Alright, I want to use a bit of FSR as well at 4K, and right now using the quarter preset. And in the sky, I gotta say, this looks just like native. And FPS obviously is going to be doing pretty well since we're in the sky. And where do we want to land? Let's land here for now, let's just go. But we're sitting at 110 to 115 FPS, and occasionally jumping up to 120 to 130 FPS almost. So quite good. But I gotta say though, FSR does look better in this game, I think, compared to DLSS. If you're playing at 44 p then I would definitely use FSR instead of DLSS. And at 4K, I think it's very close, but I'd rather use FSR than DLSS in terms of the quality. Quality difference. That tree over there just does not look good at all. Playing at low settings. I'm gonna push it down to balance FSR as well to see if it looks just as good. And... Hmm. FPS didn't really improve, still sitting at 120. Oh, maybe it did a little bit actually. But quality definitely has taken a hit, it seems like, with lighting and shadows, especially. Uh, yeah, as soon as I'm moving, you can see that building. The textures are looking a bit weird, I gotta say. So I think I would stick to quality preset with FSR at uh, 4K. DLSS, you can get away with using the balanced preset as well, that also works. But yeah. Alright, second game. Gonna be playing the game at 1080p again. And this time we're gonna be using the balance preset. These are the settings. I made sure to reset the game as well. Just make sure everything is applied. Five to jump. 1080p, I'm not sure if we will see a downgrade in performance. Because we're getting severely bottlenecked. But. I think we should probably. 
And hopefully we can survive. There's a lot of people here. Oh wow, there's a lot of people here. I'm gonna try and fight this guy. Hey you, come over here. Primary objective is to eliminate. What does that guy have? Oh my god. How would I kill that guy to be honest? He can enjoy his time being down until his people come survive him. I mean revive him. I need a gun though, can I get a gun? Yeah, 77. Oh, this is like Apex where they actually have tiers of armor. That's a bit annoying. Alright, FPS is doing quite well here. We're sitting at 150 inside. And once we get outside, let's go ahead and climb up here real quick. Enemy dropping I just hear someone. Sitting at 140. 130. I can't reload the gun. Oh, it's bugged. Amazing. Oh, the sound is also glitched. It's not, it's not playing it properly. I'm getting no sound for reloading the gun. That is such a weird glitch. Alright, let's go ahead and chase that. Whoa, 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 everyone's after me. Oh, this is like Black Ops 4. Awesome. Oh, give me a second to relax game. Okay. Oh, they I don't want two MP7s. Give me this. Okay. We're still getting bottlenecked. GP sitting at 70% usage. 70 to 80% usage. FPS is obviously going to be sitting at 140 to 150. With dips into the 120s and 130s. So... Ah, oh, great. They saw me. Can I 2v1? Which? I don't want the rocket. FPS is sitting at 130. Jeep is going to be fully maxed out, obviously, at this point, since we were basically maxed out at low settings. Uh, it's running quite well. Sadly, below 140, but what can we do? I think I really spent money on skins already. No. They got me. Alright, let's go. Where are we going, teammate? I'll follow you. Okay, you can't play skid now. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Oh my god, I was getting worried. Get me back in there. It's very hard to stay focused on the actual FPS when you don't really know how to play the game since it's a new map and everything. What's up, teammate? I see the MP7 in there for me. Nice, okay, I'll probably take the stun. Alright, I'm gonna go find somewhere safe so I can actually take a look at the FPS and look over the map. Hopefully I don't get killed. But this ladder looks very convenient for me right now. Well, I'm gonna get up. And what's our FPS here? There we go, sitting at 120 FPS right now. Not the best, but not too bad either. The game does look pretty fantastic, even on those lower settings. On average, it seems like with some dips into the 60s. Not too bad. But I'm guessing people will want to get more than 70 FPS at 4K in Warzone. <coughs> okay, let's get this out of here. It's a nice little shop with a lot of supplies. 
Hmm. Wait, we need to get stuns. Or flashes, whatever that is. I think it's a stun. We'll assess. Going to be using the balance preset at this point. And jump up into the 110s. Sitting at 113 FPS. So we're going to look back down here, see what we get. Because we're sitting at 80 FPS when looking this way. 120, let's go ahead and go over the cliff though. So we can properly see the whole city. Two down. Secure the last safe. You've secured all content. 105 FPS. We lose a good chunk by just looking towards the city areas pretty much. Not too bad. And let's go ahead and compare this to with FSR. Had to come back here again. FSR, gonna be using the balance preset as well. Actually, I'm gonna be using the quarter preset because it looks the best. Balance, you're really using too much quality. But yeah, here's the quality preset with FSR. Sitting at 125 FPS, so slightly higher than what we had with DLSS. That pop in the trees does not look good at all. Uh, let's go ahead and go over here real quick. And... FPS is still in the 110s. It's going to be 4 or 5 FPS higher than the LSS in the same area. Obviously presets are different, but um, we're using quality here and we're using balance with the LSS. So uh, playing at 1080p now with the Ultra preset. I'm going to go and jump into the settings real quick. Here they are. And sitting at 130, 140 FPS. Not bad. It's very, it's very dependent on what area you're playing in. Some areas are definitely going to be far more intensive than other ones. That will affect your FPS far more than the quality settings. If he's finally fully maxed out, sitting at 95%. Still dropping down into the low 90s though. Getting a bunch of stuttering right now at the Ultra preset. The shadow is bugging out a little bit. Yeah, the game is stuttering quite a bit. Probably avoid playing at the Ultra settings. This still hasn't been fixed because it was in the main game and it was in the beta, I'm pretty sure, as well. Why wow, the game is running poorly? Then we have 120 FPS. The GP is still getting bottlenecked in this area. But those dense city areas are definitely. Dude, this is a COD format. I forgot what it's called. But this is the exact same layout. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and push it up to 440p now. Hopefully, the stuttering will stabilize a little bit and calm down because it's definitely very annoying. <laughs> Happening every couple seconds. Ooh. Whoa, the game is bugging out like crazy. There we go. Okay. At 440p ultra settings, the game is still stuttering. Sharpness and clarity look amazing. Was it safe in here? I need a key cut. I was zoned out and the guy just sneak up on me like that. Okay. Yeah, the game is very, very stuttery right now. It's freezing every couple of seconds. I'm dead. Nine gigs. We have a gig left, and our system is using up a little bit of this as well. So it could be a VRAM issue. Watch this. Hold that real quick. Playing the smoke game. I think the teammate. Oh, I'm thinking I'm gonna die here, aren't I? Is that a juggernaut? It has to be a juggernaut, right? Surely. This is so laggy, it's, full, it's actually crazy. We're getting one FPS. Oh, the game's bugging out. There we go. It's so random. Alright, it's 
quite clear that we can't get 60 FPS at 4K ultra settings. We're getting, oh my god, this is so choppy. What is this? The game is struggling like crazy. Barely getting 60 FPS right now. I'm gonna land in the city so we can see the worst case scenario real quick. Oh my god, the game is performing so poorly. What is this? VRAM is sitting at almost 9 gigs. It's jumping around like crazy though. It's going from 7 gigs to 9 gigs in like a second. Alright. 70 appears surprising once we land. Not bad. Well, this is the ground wall map with the invasion map. This area here. It's all reused. Enemy UAV active. He's inside here. Now he's dead. His friend's coming after me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Come on, game. The footstep noise is so loud. Stutteriness isn't as bad as 440p, surprisingly. Actually, it's pretty bad still. It's still freezing. That's where you, Got one. So that's where you were hiding. Oh, great. I gotta go. Yo, Pink, I know you need me, buddy. You can help me. Alright, it's Team White. Give me the Pinata back, please. Give me your backpack money. I like the backpack system quite a bit. Mine is full, apparently. Alright, awesome. And I'm gonna go ahead and try a performance mode this time. See if the quality looks good and what the FPS gains are. We were sitting at 70 FPS before. And I was sitting at almost 110 FPS, and surprisingly, the quality does look pretty fantastic. Oh, okay, I didn't see the sniper. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Good thing I'm alive. That would have sucked to die. Alright, see the FPS in peace. Okay, sitting at 110 FPS. Game is still stuttering and freezing, so that's not changed. Here I'm sitting at 8.5 gigs. Hello, enemy. What's up, dude? And, uh, yeah, the quality looks pretty good still. I gotta say, the quality does look pretty good. This is definitely playable. They all look very similar at 4K. Like, quality, balance, and performance look very similar with DLSS. While with FSR, there's definitely a pretty, pretty decent downgrading in quality. Visibility is kind of hard to see, though, on that little railing. Okay. Yeah, straight away with FSR set to performance, the quality is definitely far worse than DLSS. Especially when you're moving around. What are you shooting at? It's one dead. That's good to make a good job. Nice little trait there. We're sitting at 125 to 110. You fly your drone around. Yeah, the quality is so much worse compared to the DLSS, it's crazy. Like those railings over there, definitely looking far worse compared to the DLSS. Okay, well, I need to get a gun ASAP. I can't pick it up, the game is just so glitchy. Can I find my gun over here? Is it still laying on the ground? Hmm, I guess it's not. Maybe someone took it? Alright. Someone's here. Hey, come back here. Where are you guys going? Pull this real quick. <laughs> no way. What is he doing? That's stood up, buddy. I gotta steal that because I'm I'm kind of broke. If you haven't noticed. 
Perfect. Playing the game at 1080p extreme settings now. Let's go jump into the settings real quick. This is the preset. Gonna be very VRAM heavy. That's for sure. 8.4 gigs at 1080p. You scared, you scared me too, mate. FPS is sitting at 130 to 1. I think lower set I suppose was 110. Hey, come over here. It's kind of crazy the amount of clarity that you lose by playing at 1080p compared to playing at 440p even. It's very hard to see enemies at that distance. FPS is doing alright, the game is not stuttering anymore it seems like. Definitely seems to be an issue with 440p. You scared me then, I, I fall for it. Nice one. <laughs> Alright, there's an enemy there, I'll pull up. He's by himself, it seems like. You got a scar. What? Why are you shooting at me? Chill, what, what is he doing? Someone else has died there as well. Alright, well. Gas can for the car. For the car. Oh no. Huh? Getting 100 FPS pretty much on average, with some dips into the 90s. Not too bad. Gonna see if the stuttering is gonna come back. It should. Personally, I'm gonna be playing the game at the lowest settings, with shaders and texture quality set to, uh, to high and low. That is down. There we go. The lowest I've seen it hit is around 65 FPS at 440p extreme settings. So, not too bad. I just did a little B hop. Yeah, not too bad, but also at the same time. Okay, we're getting 100 FPS once we land it. That, that's much better. That's definitely. That's definitely respectable, I guess, somewhat. Want to run to the boys, try to catch up with them. Yeah, the stuttering is back again. It's so annoying. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know about this. The quality does look a little bit better compared to playing at what we had before. 4K max settings or extreme settings. Sitting at just around 60 FPS. Game definitely does not feel as fluid or as responsive as what we had before, obviously. Wow, dropping down to the mid 50s. I really want to see how this runs on the PS4 and the Xbox One. Highly doubt they can even get 60 in the city areas. I think they're going to be sitting at 40 FPS for the average. Which I don't think that's playable at all for them, but it's just the best they could do with this game on that console. Take a look at ultra performance this time so we can see the max FPS we can get. This does not look good at all at this point. It's actually pretty decent. I'll take it back. It's pretty decent, but when you move around, the text of that looks awful. The text looks so shimmery. It's insane. <laughs> it's so bad. FPS doubled itself pretty much, or almost doubled, sitting at 104 FPS. Um, but it should go motion blur enabled as well, but that's by default. I forgot to change it. Oh. And we're sitting at basically 80 FPS now instead of sitting at 100. So we lost 30 FPS by not using ultra performance. But quality looks just like native, pretty much. Yeah, FPS is not doing the best, to be honest with the FSR at this point. It's sitting at 70 FPS. It says you can push the settings up to balanced and maybe performance at times if you're playing at 4K. But with FSR, you're kind of stuck with using quality, maybe balanced. But I would still avoid using balance to be honest. I highly doubt anyone's gonna be playing at 4K with this card. Or 4K extreme settings anyway. But if you wanna play at 4K, play at medium settings or low settings, that's the sweet spot. And you can use DLSS at balanced for the for the best FPS to quality ratio. And if you want to use FSR, if you'd like to look better, then go ahead and use the quality mode. Oh, I'm dead. And yeah, that's it for the video guys. We made this far, appreciate you. As always, if you like what you see, then I'll like to see you next time.